yes hi everyone today i am going to discuss about time division multiple axis in satellite communication so before going to uh, see tdma in satellite communication so we are going to first we will discuss about what is single axis and what is multiple axis so if a, if a channel aboard aboard a satellite may be fully loaded by single transmission from earth station that is referred as single axis of mode so which is dedicatedly allocated for one carrier so if multiple axis the second method is multiple axis so a transponder can also be loaded by number of carriers like we discussed earlier so we will have more number of earth segments or earth stations so these may originate from a number of earth station geographically separate and each earth station may transmit one or more carriers so a transponder may respond to number of carriers so it can be loaded by number of carriers and it will respond to number of earth stations so this mode of operation is multiple axis so we will see what is the three major major multiple axis what we are following fdma frequency division multiple axis tdma time division multiple axis code division multiple axis so frequency fdma so see here the x axis is time in fdma y axis is frequency so where we have allocated that the, the partition has been done in the frequency y axis in tdma so time is the x axis frequency is y axis as as pre earlier so here the time slot is separated and shown here in the separation has been shown here in the time axis code code division multiple axis is separate that we will discuss in the next one so before uh, assignment methods so how we are assigning so we have assigned here in the frequency in the fdma with a uh, particular slots how you are assigning here second one in tdma uh, we have assigned the number of slots to differently on, on number of time basis okay slot basis so how we are assigning that that will have we will have two my two types of assignment so fixed or pre assigned multiple axis the second one is demand assigned multiple axis so more or less we are following the second one in the uh, newer generations uh, technologies okay the the, uh, the first one is a fixed and pre assigned multiple axis so the, the these in these method circuits are all allocated on fixed or partially fixed basis to certain users only few people will have the access these circuits are therefore not available for general in use so the, this is very simple to implement even though uh, the pre assignment multiple access is very simple to implement but efficient only for the uh, people who ever having uh, that axis so the second one is a demand assigned multiple axis so all the these all the circuits circuits are available for all the users but on demand basis whoever asking whoever having demanding that will they will be served so we will shortly call as dama demand assigned multiple axis so where we have a lot of demand there we will serve like that so the demand assigned multiple axis is more efficient overall use of circuits but more costly to deal that that many users it it's very costly so let us see the tdma time division multiple axis so here in time division multiple axis only single carrier is allowed only one carrier we are using it is allowed only for one carrier that means only one user at a time so that is nothing but only a single carrier is allowed to access transponder at any given time for example say 10 slots are there in the first slot only one user is assigned second slot second user is assigned so then he only has uh, allowed to be used that particular carrier in the second slot so likewise uh, slots will be allocated separate separate in order to allow all users to access satellite the transponder is time shared between users so all the people should utilize the transponder then the first for example say at the station the first at station 1 it is assigned in particular time at station to assign in second particular time so likewise uh, time sharing shared between users we will use this tdma each each user is allocated a specific time slot so separate separate time slots will be allocated like i said so tdma is compatible with only digital signals so this is the main thing we need to uh, make a note of a tdma so it's only for digital signals the lack of intermodulation noise means increase efficiency so here the internal modulation noise is very less uh, that's why the, it is very efficient so thank you